What's up, real world? Twisted luck. I hope everybody is good. I appreciate you, and I always thank you for being here. I really do appreciate you. It's true. I don't say words just to say words. I mean it. I truly do appreciate you. So we mentioned yesterday the new train derailment, and we talked about some specifics of it, but let's be clear. It's not a train derailment. It's not a train derailment, which, if you ask me, makes it even more strange. It's a bridge collapse. So if you ask me, that makes things even more odd because this is a, well, let's think about this, right? This is a bridge that carries trains with dangerous cargo, dangerous chemicals on tanker cars on countless trains over the Yellowstone River, right? The Yellowstone River is about 700 miles. It runs into the Missouri River, into the Gulf of Mexico. So there's a lot of potential for disaster, widespread disaster there. Kind of like what we saw in Ohio that the mainstream media seemingly just forgot about or they don't want attention drawn to it, right? Um, it, you know, the, the river's up there, the waterway's up there, fed it. We went into that when we talked about those incidents. Um, how much those waterways feed into and how widespread this issue could be and how can how far off contaminated water could be found. Well, well now we have this happening again. So this bridge over this over this river, would this not be always up to par? Like we've always said, right? There must be things in place, safety protocols in place, inspections, right? I don't, I don't know how often these things have to be done, but I'm sure they have to be done. Uh, they, can't, they can't just be like, well, once every 10 years, we'll pop by and look at it, make sure. No, because this is a big deal because catastrophe could come of it. So I would think this is a high priority. So I'm unsure how uh, just a bridge collapsing that carries a train over and, and dumps tanker cars into the Ohio River, spilling chemicals. They're saying there's as- asphalt and sulfur that um, has dumped into the water. And what was it? Uh, hydrogen sulfate, right? Hydrogen sulfate, they said, was also being carried, but they're not sure that that leaked. Uh, people do say there was a, a yellow liquid seen dripping from some of the tankers into the water. Not sure exactly what that is. That's just reports. But for sure, two chemicals have spilled into the water. And I'm suspicious about the third one that they mentioned. They're like, well, we're not sure. I'm more suspicious of it because that one is highly toxic. So maybe they wouldn't really want that known because they saw what happens uh, when everybody finds out that bad chemicals get in the water, right? They don't really want to talk about it. And oddly, oddly, actually not oddly, the mainstream media, where are they on this Yellowstone uh, collapse derailment? I scanned through some mainstream media sites today and yesterday, didn't even find a mention of it. Not even a small mention. Not a blurb. They got plenty of celebrity updates, uh, royal family updates and things like that, but things that could affect lots of us. Uh, no, I didn't, I didn't see that mentioned anywhere, but let's think about it, right? So up in Ohio, the East Palestine incident just happened to dump into water too, right? It's all these coincidences. We are in the year of coincidence. We've said this many times, contaminating water, right? And widespread. And they kept saying, Hey, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. But then independent people showed us all sorts of things that are definitely cause for concern and things are still going on up there even though we're not hearing about it anymore right they're still going on and there's still very bad stuff and long-term effects and there will be for a long time so they get that water way up there that travels way down all over the place now we got another one up here in montana another waterway that travels way down into all sorts of other waterways right And gradually, I'm seeing a trend of lots of waterways being contaminated, right? And if uh, things did happen, if things were to go south, generally speaking, right? SHTF situation. And, you know, we are to the point of uh, relying on our preps that we've 
hopefully spent a long time gathering and, you know, power could be out, whatever it is. What is one thing that everybody definitely is going to need, right? What, what, what's like crucial to life? What, what are we going to need? And it's the top source, right? It's the top number one thing everybody's going to, going to need, which is why it's like the top thing we always say, Hey, store as much of this as we can, because you know, when it's not there, that's going to be the main problem we have. Of course, water, right? And a lot of people are not preparing for anything, right? And we hope that we never need preps. Hopefully this is all just crazy talk and we never need it. I don't think that's the case, but hopefully, right? That would be nice. But there's a lot of people that don't. And even a lot of people, you know, will have an, enough water saved up for so long. But then what's going to happen? A lot of people, everybody's going to need water, right? So people are going to seek water sources. People, and you know, they've said 90% of the American population would um, cease to be here in a long-term blackout situation. And how, how do they increase that number? Well, how about if all of these people searching for water cannot find good water or all they can find is contaminated water and they give it a go, right? Well, it seems like that would increase the numbers of people no longer being here. And I'm not trying to create a big thing, uh, you know, and I'm not saying this is going to happen, but it's like playing chess, right? what's the other player doing? What are they thinking? And how can you move ahead of them? You right? think mentally move ahead of them, right? And stay ahead of them and figure out what the hell they're doing. Uh, and these are things that I think are important to think about, but think about it like that. Look how much water gradually is being potentially contaminated by these toxic dumps into massive waterways that flow into other massive waterways all over the country. Look at the maps of these, of the Ohio River, of the Yellowstone River. Look at the maps and and look how big they are. Look what they feed into and follow them and see where they go. This doesn't cause just a small little issue in one area of of Colorado or, uh, or Montana. And the other one doesn't cause a little issue in East Palestine or Ohio area. This is widespread. But imagine that, right? Because that's the number one resource people would need. And many, many, many people would be seeking it. Water. So are all these things a combined, uniform, pre-planned effort to get everything into place for when it gets to that point where everybody's either fighting for themselves, searching for themselves, fending for themselves, or relying on the government? Or is it just coincidence? What what do you think? I I know it's not coincidence. I know that. And I'm not saying anything for sure, right? Because we don't, again, like we always say, who knows for sure. But unless we are literally in the time of coincidence, I'm just not, it's just not adding up. I'm not buying it. I'm just not. Look at all, all of the things, even just in 2023 so far, right? How all of these things, and we've recapped over several of them, even recently in the past few weeks, right? Just coincidence, nothing to see here. Bridges don't just fall down that carry, especially crucial bridges like that, right? And in Ohio, we talked about all the safety measures that were in place so that exactly what happened couldn't happen. They had, you know, there's a safety system, and then a backup to that system, and then fail-safes to make sure those systems don't fail, and every single one of those things failed to allow that, that train to derail. That's a lot of coincidence in one incident, right? Then just a couple months later, a, a bridge just falls down that's carrying toxic chemicals over another massive major waterway. I don't know. You share your thoughts. And it's also very suspect that, like we said, the media is not talking about it, right? You hear no mention of it. You would think this is kind of a big deal, right? Before who, what celebrity wore what clothing to what event that nobody cares about. 
They're instead of talking about these real things, they're like, "Hey, somebody you don't care about wore something you don't care about to go to an event that you don't care about," and they push that in your face. And you know, it's just they, they're trying to draw you in, right? They draw you in, distract you constantly. It's nonsense in the news these days. So share your thoughts. Let me know what you think. Um, this is obviously still new. A lot, a lot of information is is kind of tough to dig up uh, so far, especially because nobody's talking about it, getting it. I'm digging around looking for real people in the area and things like that, talking about it in their little videos and, and whatever, and just other research in general, not related to the another train plunging into a waterway because the bridge fell down. Come on. Come on. It's ridiculous. So before I go, I'll show you, you know, obviously we've been talking about weird weather. Yesterday, um, yesterday evening, I went outside and the skies were crazy looking. They were like purple. Um, it was just weird. The whole sky was purple. So I started to record a little clip, hoping, hoping, hoping that it would, it would, it would translate into video. And actually on the screen, it didn't look purple. The video looks more purple than it did in the screen, thankfully. Even that doesn't do it justice, but I just thought that was crazy looking. I wanted to share that. Just another weird thing. We don't ever see purple skies like that. I don't remember. I can't remember the time seeing purple skies like that. Um, But the weird weather continues, and that was just another thing. Another weird thing that I noticed, and I'm working on a a solar project, I'll say, I guess. Uh, I'm trying, trying to do something, and I just went and got some stuff to try to help me do something. So something that I'm going to see what I can see and then show you if I can see it. So uh, there's that coming, hopefully. I'm very curious of this sun. We've talked a lot about the sun and it's, um, or at least what we refer to as the sun and, and why is it being blocked out and hidden all the time. That makes me very suspicious. Uh, if, they, if they just left it alone, I probably wouldn't pay it much attention. But since it's very, very clear that they don't want us looking at it, they don't want us to see it, it makes me want to see it makes me want to figure out what's going on or at least a closer look at what's going on and uh, hopefully hopefully we'll get somewhere with that and you will be the first to know well a second to know I'll be the first to know well obviously yeah, my wife is going to be the first to know outside of me but you you're next on the list I promise you you're next on the list so thanks for being here share all of your thoughts and ideas and theories and uh, just weird stuff so uh, convince me all of this is coincidence if if you shall, but I don't think it's going to work. Thanks for being here. Twisted Luck Truth. I'll see you soon.